this is 15 of the scariest Easter eggs in video games. Now, you know, I don't know about all y'all, but I grew up playing video games. Started off on Super Nintendo and I worked my way up to Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Probably it's going to be a little minute before I get that PS5 and that new Xbox, though, because they got to come out with some new games, and these games suck these days. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway... Here we go. Now, for y'all that don't know, an Easter egg is like a hidden little secrets in the game. And a lot of people, you know, play the game for hours. People have played games hundreds of hours and never seen these Easter eggs. So, you know, that's what Easter egg is. It's in movies and games, and especially video games. Hey, before we get started, comment your favorite video game or top three if it's hard to pick. Just give me a top three or something. You know, give me give me some, and let me know back what console you started on back in the day, man. Let me see how old and how young y'all is in there. I don't know who, who boy. I got I got some I got some old mugs in here, boy. <laughs> I know some of y'all but old mug. <laughs> the Game Boy camera. Now, back in '98, you could buy this little accessory. It was real ugly and stuff. And bulky, but you could plug it into the Game Boy cartridge. You know, Game Boy is a handheld game for y'all, y'all folk that don't know. And it took it real, extremely low resolution pictures. Now, since it was technically a Game Boy title, it came loaded with a whole, with a, you know, a couple games and stuff. And it was all pretty silly, except for it was this one RPG, you know, fighting game, which gave you a few options. One being a run command, just like in Pokemon, where if you press the run button over and over. You'll see a horrifying edited like pictures and then it had like a message saying, Who is you running from? <laughs> Shoot. I just sent it a message back saying, I'm running this game back to the store where I got it from. <laughs> Number fourteen. The original Xbox dashboard. Now, if you left your Xbox on at the dashboard for a long time, you'll start to hear some weird sounds and they just start playing random. And the worst part was because they were so random that if you went and got somebody so they could hear it, they'd believe, you know, they'd come back, they'd never hear it again, they wouldn't believe. Now, other accounts of this Easter egg is people hearing uh, doors and stuff opening and people walking down hallways and stuff. And all this would be, you know, scary because it only happened when you um, left your game running all night with the TV on and junk. So in the middle of the night, you would be hearing that junk. And I know this is true because I used to have the original Xbox and like mine would be making like alien noises. I don't remember no doors closing or nothing, but I remember like a type, like alien type noise. But I thought that was just normal. I ain't look at it like a hidden secret. Mine did it so much. I thought it was just part of the I had went. Number 13, Pokemon X and Y. Now, if you go to Lumino City and visit one specific building, you can encounter the only real ghost in the Pokeverse. And by going to the second floor, it's going to be a cutscene where a girl suddenly appear behind your character. And your character just stand there, froze up in fear. And she said, no, you're not the right one, and disappear. Now, if you go to the fourth floor, you're going to see the girl that look just like that girl. And it's common because the game used the same characters over and over. But if you talk to her, she's going to tell you, be quiet, because she can hear the elevator. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. I'm not a big Pokemon fan, but, uh, you know, man, I remember back when I was a kid, though, I had, like, this Japanese holographic, uh, one of them legendary bird cards. But when we moved to Atlanta, I left that junk in the thing in my grandmama's uh, kitchen cabinet. <laughs> man, some freaking crackhead probably raided the house and stole my special Pokemon card. And lived it up off that. Probably made all kind of money off that before he, you know, snorted it and shot it all away. And then it's another thing. Like in the city, you can, uh, like some board, you can go read at the train station. They got a message, a secret message. I'm going for help. Wait in the usual place. And, you know, so that's a little creepy, too. Number 12, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, if you go to Ship of Burn Galaxy, you can immediately tell that something different. The worlds are harder as you face with lava pits and black holes. Now, however, if something else is different as well, you can experience the feeling of being watched. And it's completely justified because if you look up at the cliffs that surround you, 
You see these weird silhouettes with swollen arms and huge eyes looking down at you. And further investigating into the levels code gives the creatures the name Hell Valley Sky Tree. Ooh, even Mario, the nicest guy in the game, ain't got a little, little dirty secret, huh? <laughs> One thing I don't understand about Mario is why is he able to jump 20 feet in the air and do all this this fighting and stuff? He's just a plumber. What is the explanation? That's how much he's man. That's the power of love, I guess, man. He loved that dang princess so much. He's just a regular everyday fat plumber, man. But I guess he got a chance to get a print. Man, I guess so. If a dang princess tell you, if you save me, I'll love you forever. So you be jumping 20, 25, 30 feet in the air trying to save you. So. Number 11, Animal Crossing. Now, this is a cute little game until you forget to save your game. And the next time you play, you're going to see this uh, character named Resetti, who gets very angry that you made this mistake. Now, all of your village, you will see statue called Gyro, Gyroids, uh, Gyroids. You can now use these weird statues to save your game. And these Gyroids aren't made up either. They're ancient Japanese burial statues. They were said to contain the souls of the deceased. Well, shoot, want the game, if it's going to do all that, just go ahead and save the game for me then. Shoot, shoot, that's like something an old black man will do, boy. An old black man will, like, uh, see you, like, you know, get on the bus. He'll see you leave for school or something, and he'll see you left your bus fare or your transfer card or something, and he'll let you get all the way down the street, all the way on the bus, knowing if you miss that bus, you, you know, you, you scarred. Then you get back home and... Well, I would have told you, but, you know, yeah, yeah, I want you to learn your lesson. <laughs> no, come here, Pops. You for to learn a lesson. But that's how old people be. Well, old people want to tell you everything about everything that's anything. But then when you really need some real help or advice, they ain't got nothing to say. Well, I ain't say nothing because when I told you the other day, you ain't, yeah, when I, when I was trying to cook some grits and you were standing over my shoulder trying to just tell me how to cook grits, yeah, I ain't want to hear it. But you could have told me that uh that the the, the bank called or you know what I'm saying. You could have told me that I got a, a letter from the you know just certain <laughs> old mug wanna wanna give it wanna just give a bunch of useless stuff then you get mad and don't wanna tell you important stuff. Number ten, black and white. In this PC game, you was a god uh, who had complete control over your civilization. Now you can either help or destroy the population, villagers, and, uh, and the villagers will die regardless. And each time it happened, you would hear a dark voice whisper death. What's even worse is that you had a common name, you would occasionally hear your name being whispered in the same voice just like this. Yeah, that sounds pretty creepy. But that ain't really, really creepy. It sounds like that's just part of the game. I need to find that game. If I play that game, I'm killing everybody. <laughs> Death. <laughs> They're gonna be whispering death to me a whole a whole lot. Number nine, payday the heist. In a no mercy mission, you get an all out firefight. You get a big old firefight with the police, and uh, power starts to flicker in the hospital as you fight for survival. Now, if that wasn't creepy enough, you can start to hear strange crying coming from a room peeking through the small glass, and after the second power cut will reveal a witch from left for dead now for y'all that don't know well i guess some of y'all wouldn't know about payday but left for dead is like a uh it's like a four player zombie game where you and four you, you and three friends could play together and y'all just killing zombies this a good man it's a good game it's one of my favorite games back in the day man and it hit this one monster it'd be like a lady crying and when you got close to her you could hear her just <laughs> she'd be crying and as soon as you, like, will shoot at her or get too close or move too fast, she'll hop up and she'll, like, knock everybody down with one hit, man. So you had to be real careful. You either had to try to sneak by and then the game was slick. Sometimes the game would put a witch, like, right in front of the door or something. <laughs> yeah. Number eight, runner two, future legend of rhythm alien. In his first, in his fast-paced indie game, one level has a scary figure in the background, a slender man. 
and he can be seen only for a few seconds at a time as he watch you. And he lingers just out of sight so you can only see him out the corner of your eye. Now he follow you through the level too, knowing that he's getting closer and closer to his latest victim. Mm. Yeah, man, old Slendy always scary, man. But uh, you know, uh, I never heard nothing about nobody shooting Slender, man. I feel like he could be killed if you shoot him right in that, f f uh, shoot him right in that face, boy, or shoot him in that old raggedy suit he got on. <laughs> Number seven, one of my favorite, favorite game franchises. Some people call it Hitman. I call him the Get Hitman. <laughs> and the third installment of this series is a mission called Traditions of the Trade, which take place in a hotel picking a lock off an off-limits room. We reveal a bloody murder scene covered in police tape. And what's even worse is that if you look in the bathroom mirror, you will see the spirit of the victim. Yeah, man, man, boy, all these, I love, love the Hitman games, man. Man, it's one of the best series, bro, because it's like you play this bald head guy with a tattoo on the back of his head, so anybody that look at him would know that he is obviously a, a psychopath. <laughs> and then you can, like, knock people out or kill them, and then, like, wear their clothes, take their clothes off, and wear their clothes, and then sneak close to the person you're trying to assassinate. That's a good freaking game, bro. I love Hitman. Well, it's another one of my favorite games, number six, Batman Arkham City. Bro, for y'all that don't know, and y'all wouldn't know because I'm a horror channel, so I don't really be talking about stuff like this, but I love Batman, man. Like, growing up, I watched Batman the Animated Series, and, like, that junk shaped my whole creative ability, man. You know, we had cartoons that made you think, cartoons with full stories and bad endings sometime. Good and you know, it'd be you never knew what kind of ending you was gonna get. You know, these cartoons nowadays don't even have an ending, it just be a bunch of crazy stuff happening. Then that junk just in <laughs> like it just you be like, Was that is it going to commercial or is that it? And that just be it, man. So, you know, I love Batman anyway. So, by climbing up one of the cranes that overlooked the Gotham docks and soaring down to the ship below, you can find a secret room. And use the cryptographic sequencer to gain access into the boat. In this secret room belonged to Scarecrow. And entering, you will shift in a first-person view. And at the back of the room is a figure that is only illuminated by a blue glow. And if you get closer, it looked like the figure is dead. That's like a little secret room. It was telling you about, like, the next game and stuff. So it was pretty cool, man. I actually synced this one with my own eyes. Number five, Sonic CD. <laughs> I hate Sonic because, you know, me and my wife, I got some extra kids in the house. And uh, they, one of them loves Sonic. So now he got my daughter just obsessed with Sonic. All, that's all she talked to me about. Sonic and Amy and Knuckles and, and Tails all day long, <laughs> man. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, ugh, man, so... I hate Sonic, but anyway, by using the following cheat, down, down, left, right, you can bring up the sound test menu. Once there, enter the same uh, cheat for the following music to play. For the, uh, you get some music to play. It is not clear what the text read, but the music is real nightmarish. Ooh. Number four. Psycho knots. In a level Myla's dance party, you can enter the mind of the character Myla. And it's pretty fun until you discover the hidden room of her subconsciousness. The room is filled with burning figures yelling, Why didn't you save us, Myla? Later, you discover what had happened in the scrapbook. And it turns out she used to work at an orphanage that burnt down. And all the kids died. And now they haunt her in her mind. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know about this game, but like if you think might look normal and then you get in her mind and find out she been through that, that'd be pretty interesting. Or it'd be even more interesting if she a bad guy and you find out she bad because of what she what happened to her in that orphanage. That'd be pretty cool too. Number three. Fable two. You can find a winter lodge that looked like a normal cabin until you go up inside. 
and ske- go inside. And the skeletons and torture devices are all throughout the cabin. And it's a chest that's sitting in the upstairs room with a sword up in it. And uh, and that's it's in there and nothing else in the area. And ain't never no explanation for the massacre in game. Yeah, see, I like stuff like that. Don't explain it. Just let people make up their own idea. That's why movies be sucking so bad, bro. They be, like got oh, we have to find the 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 hidden book and this the book of spells from the witch of the. Hey, look, man, quit trying to explain this stupid stuff. The movie, you know, movies be stupid and they try to explain the stupid. <laughs> like, just let it be happen, man. Just let it be, man. Like Michael Myers movies be so bad because they be trying to explain stuff, man. Like with that last one, Halloween Kills, man. They trying to explain, oh, he stared out the window and like, what the f-? look, man. He just so cra- just it's simple. He's so crazy, so evil that he just un- the devil took over. That's it, man. <laughs> simple. Number two gives award judgment. I'm a Gears of War fan because you got Xbox and you ain't got no choice. I ain't a fan no more. That junk suck now, but it used to be real good. You can use frag grenades in the library level to uncover this painting. And by shooting the pieces of paper that accompany them, the paintings will change. And bullet holes will come up in the paintings with fresh blood running down the faces. If you do this to all the paintings in the level and return to the original painting, it's a circle of blue flames. And a figure will appear and disappear. And if you shoot the painting, you'll be teleported to a secret room where you can either kill or be killed by the figure. Number one. GTA 5. Now, this one of the games that's the reason why games suck, man. GTA 5 came out, man, like 10 years ago, maybe, nine, nine years ago. Like, this junk came out a long time ago, man, on the Xbox 360. And they just keep redoing this junk. They keep adding stuff to it. And it's stupid stuff that you got to pay real money for. And all the kids, dumb kids be buying it. Stupid stuff, man. Instead of making a whole new game, they just keep adding this little silly stuff that don't mean nothing. Like me and my cousin used to get on there and we'd go get like 10,000 bullets and just shoot it out with the police, man. But now people got laser guns and stuff and jet pack jet jets and, and, and it's just stupid stuff man gravity guns that make you fly up in the air it's just they mess the junk up so bad man but anyway by visiting the tallest mountain in the game and going to the edge at 20 at, uh 23 o'clock or not 11 o'clock is what that is at night and zoom in with a sniper rifle, you'll see the ghost of a girl who just float there. And if you get closer, she'll disappear. And if you go exactly where she at, you will see that she was floating over blood on the rocks. And the rocks red jock. Upon more investigation in the in-game internet, you can find a young couple walking along the mountain edge. And the woman fell off. And jock might refer to jock Cranley, who is a politician in the game. So I guess he... Must have killed his girl, boy. Ain't that something? It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. 